This strange gloom keeps getting thicker. Hell yeah, like my dick. We've been descending for a while now. These tunnels are deeper than I thought. What could be down here? Girl, I know who you fucking are. Hey y'all, it's your boy Link. You're probably all wondering how I found myself in this situation. Well, it all started in a let's play from like four years ago that I've already forgotten the events of all that shit that happened. So uh, yeah, now I'm down in the cave with my waifu, who's got a haircut short all nice and pretty just for me. And also, hey, look at that, I'm all maxed out already. Look at me keeping all my stats and bullshit from the last game. Fucking Kratos can't do that shit, no he can't. All right, good thing the game's still telling me how to move though, cause I definitely don't remember that. All right, I'm gonna go back. Bye, babe. Link, has Link caught your attention? Whatever it is, we can plan to look at it on our way back out. Let's continue our descent. Ah, okay, fine. See, it's not like I have any horrible, dreadful feeling that something terrible is about to happen to me down here. Like I was teased about it in some trailer or something. Oh, hey, I still pull my sword out. Uh, put it away. I got my, sorry, I'm, I'm trying to remember how I do things. The hell was the Y button up here? Was the jump button all the way up here? I don't know if I remember that. Can I still roll? All right, okay, that's a, that's slicing. That's uh, me look, to look at my hand. That's strafe. This is to run in circles. This, what the hell? Man, fuck this sword. Ugh. Oh yeah, that's right. I can do this when I'm all dank and stuff. But as we all remember, if I use this sword for any longer than like two seconds, it's gonna stop working and then I'm gonna have to go find a stick or something. All right, baby, let's keep going. People have been falling ill after coming into contact with the gloom drifting through these caverns. Though here it seems almost misty and not concentrated enough to harm us. It smells like fuck ass to me. We'll keep going. With it coming up from beneath Hyrule Castle. We do not know what waits below, so we need to be ready for anything. But I know I'll be okay with you, Link. Hey, yeah, girl, I got you. Let's go solve this mystery. Yeah, and let's go fuck afterwards. Just like we always do. I'm glad my fishy waffle isn't in my head anymore. That shit would be so awkward. Every time we made sweet, sweet love, she's over there, like, watching me, staring down at us. Give me that crazy glare of hers. Ah. I heard a sound. Link. Yeah, girl? The Master Sword. Ah, shit, it's all glowing. That's new. It must be sensing something. I knew we had reason for concern. Ever since the end of the Calamity, the castle has fallen into neglect. Hmm. But I never could have imagined anything like these tunnels were hiding in the year. Huh? We must be careful as we move deeper. Don't you worry about a thing. I can do this. <gasps> Ugh. I can also light the way, kinda. Link, look! <sighs> These are ruins from an ancient civilization. Wait, something is written here. Might these ruins be from the Zonai? The fuck is that? Listen, I haven't played all the games, right? So I don't know all your deep dank lore. Oh my god, you're gonna stop and look at every little weird egg lamp or something? Oh. These carvings. I'm sure the Zonai in origin. I've seen designs like this in my studies. The Zonai are said to have lived long ago, in the time of earliest legend. They possessed godlike powers and had a prosperous civilization in the sky. Hmm. Many history books tell us about the Zonai, but none give us the full picture. Much is still unknown about them. I feel like we just keep making up new races. 
Those statues there. Hmm. This is what the zone I look like. It seems so different than us. And such large ears. How did the ruins of a civilization in the sky end up here beneath the castle? In the sky, you say? It looks like the path ahead goes even deeper. Let's continue, Link. Giggity. Oh, oh shit, I can still sprint. Look at me. Hey, hey. Zelda, look, baby. Look, look. My green thing still got three rings. I'm still all maxed out. Oh, man, I'm so glad. I'm so glad I'm all maxed out and there's absolutely no way. Oh, hey, I can climb still, too. There's absolutely no way I'm going to lose it in any way. It's going to be like this butt the whole time. Hey, look, I can still do this, too. Babe, babe, look over here. Babe, you ain't looking at me. Look at this shit. How the hell am I even doing this? I got fucking Spider-Man powers? Ugh. Oh, hey, it's these little bat things. Hey, how's it going? I win. You're not hurt, are you, Link? Girl, are you serious? Those bats die on one hit. <gasps> Look at these murals. <gasps> the written histories of the royal family include stories of a great war fought long ago. It was a conflict between allied tribes and someone only ever referred to as the Demon King. Is it possible? Do these murals depict the same legend? <sighs> this is similar to the statues we saw earlier. A Zonai. And these figures look like Hylians. This depiction certainly suggests that the Zonai descended from the heavens. It is said that my ancestors, the first of Hyrule's royal family, were born from a union with gods who had descended from the heavens. These murals tell a similar story, and if they are accurate, then the gods mentioned were the Zonai. It looked like two Flodnias up there. a relationship with the Hylians of that time, working together to establish the Kingdom of Hyrule. This figure, he seems to be stealing something of incredible power from the young kingdom. He looks like a Smash Brothers character. This all aligns with what I've read during my studies. And then this, it shows the Demon King. And a fierce battle against him. <laughs> Which one? If the creature depicted here really does represent the Demon King, then... Incredible. This mural must be the Great War recorded in the royal histories. This is the imprisoning war and the events that led up to it. Link, this is a huge discovery. Yeah, that's cool. All right, I'm going to hold the torch before you set yourself on fire again. Why do you think we had to cut your hair short in the first place? invention of Puras. I'm glad I didn't leave it behind. It's so easy to record. You point it and click. Oh. Oh, it looks like the rest of the murals are obscured. Oh. Ah, it's alright. It's got cracks on it, which means I can bomb it later. Just what is this place? Maybe we'll find more answers farther ahead. Link, let's keep moving deeper. Where the fuck is my Nintendo Switch powers? You know why? Just like whip it out and throw a bomb and shit. Pull out a giant magnet. Remember that? I sure don't. What did I do last game again? I think it was like some freaking Boca Blends and Gorok Seas and shit. 
I think at one point one of them gave me that giant doo doo. Something like that. Oh man, that's just, that's definitely the dank. I definitely smell some of the dank. I'm gonna haul ass down here. Come on, freaking get down here and punch this thing. What is this place? Let's continue, Link. We must be extremely careful. Nah, I don't want to do that. I don't want to finish the tutorial yet. What? I just want to stay up in this pot forever. But, but why? It's right there. Yeah, but see, the thing is, I have a very distinct fear the moment I go down there, I'm just going to be level one again. What? Why would you say that? What are you talking about, Link? Listen, if I just stay up here, we could avoid a lot of problems. I feel like if we just leave that alone, absolutely nothing will change. We'll be completely fine. So yeah, no, I'm not going down there. All right. All right, my girl, you go ahead and stare at that all day. I don't give a shit. I'm out of here. Nope, I ain't down for this. I ain't down for this. Anuba, I ain't doing this shit again, man. Wait, no, you can't do that. Yes, I can. You can't stop me. Link, we've got to have a sequel. Come on, get down here. God damn it. Ah, uh, why you gotta do this to me, girl? All right. Well, sweetheart, let's go ahead and get one more look at my beautiful HP bar. Ah. Uh, and this cool three rings of stamina and this badass sword. All right. Let's get fucked. All right, we're going to be real careful, like. This is pre rendered, so that's got to be a good sign, right? What is that? Damn, this motherfucker dehydrated as hell. Hopefully, it doesn't get hydrated and end up being hot as fuck. Now, see, this is what I said was going to happen. Ah, fuck. Ha, ah, yes, right. You ain't going to touch me. Ah! What did I tell you, bitch? What the fuck did I fucking tell you? Ah, how? I just got me a socket. Oh, dicks. I got your face. Was that the sword that seals the darkness? The blade that shatters so easily against my power cannot save you from me. Zelda. You who carries that fragile sword. A link. Raru placed his faith in you. The fuck's that? And that was all you could do. How do you know our names? Ah, oh, shit, I think he might be Morbin. Oh man, we just got done cleaning up the castle from the last game. Come on, guys! God damn it! Okay, bye. Damn it, clumsy girl! Reach out! Touch my dang hand! Ew, no! It's really gross! Please, I can grab you! Or not. Yeah, there goes another waifu. Oh, hey, how's it going?
tickles. Stop it. Stop it. No, really, stop it. Man, that was a good fap. Wait, that's not my fap in hand. Also, where the fuck am I? Damn, my nails look fabulous. Link, finally you wake. Dimitri, is that you? Are you in my head right now? You're in the wrong game, bro. I've heard a great deal about you from Zelda. Your wounds were severe. I am relieved to see you escape death. Your arm, however, was beyond saving. I had to replace it, lest the injury endanger you further. Oh, there's my sword. Well, back to me to level one again. Ah, <sighs> man, it was nice while it lasted, you know, all of like five minutes. My hair longer? I think I might need a haircut. I look pretty short before. Anyway, this looks pretty good. I think I can fix that. Come here. I just need some gorilla tape, really. The soul that seals the darkness, its sacred power has been diminished after being ravaged by the gloom beneath Hyrule Castle. Ah, right, well this menu looks familiar. Maybe we wouldn't slide this right into my back skin. Alright, well I can still spin. That's nice. All right, Nico, I think we found out fit for you to do the thing now. Oh, really? Is, is it my turn? Can I, can I talk now? Yeah, you go ahead. Okay, sorry. I, I just didn't want to interrupt you and in your thing. Yeah, no, I'm done. I'm naked again. This is about how we were last time we did this. All right, then. Well, hello, Peaky Penguins. This is Nico B here with a Let's Play of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. It's here, guys. It's freaking here. The sequel to Breath of the Wild. After a long ass wait and honestly, a surprisingly scant amount of details, this game has finally arrived. And uh, we'll say pretty cool intro. Not actually a bad intro. I kind of like that it had me like actually have all my powers. Well, I mean, I mean, I didn't have the Sheikah Slate, but I did have at least my like my HP full on the Master Sword. But I also like that we got, a, got to see the like Ganondorf and he got to say some stuff. You know, it's already infinitely better than last game's Ganon, which I feel like, I don't know. I don't know if I remember him saying anything other than Marr. That said, uh, very surprised to hear Chris Hackney voicing some inner thought voice thing. Freaking Dimitri. Not that I mind it all, of course. Damn, look at this thing. It is so hot and also smells really, really bad. But yeah, I will say, I feel like my excitement for this game has been surprisingly... Well, not as like crazy as I sort of hoped it would be. Mainly because I feel like I just didn't get enough of like stuff shown to me in the trailers to really get me to feel like this was a significant departure from from what Breath of the Wild was. And don't me wrong, I really enjoyed Breath of the Wild. I did. I, I loved it. I, I uh, really loved that Let's Play. And I thought the gameplay and stuff was like a ton of fun. But from the trailers that we saw and that were shown, it felt like the, it was just kind of like the same thing again. And, the, and I think that's what kind of like the problem was is that Breath of the Wild was sort of built around the, you just not really knowing anything, right? Because it was so different from anything that came before it. And I knew that even with my limited knowledge of Zelda games, having only played Link to the Past and like a bit of Twilight Princess. However, that being said, and, and I guess it's not too surprising, all the outlets are giving this game a 10 out of 10. Not surprisingly, the reviews are in and they're super glowing. I have not read them. I'm actually not going to check out any of the reviews. I think I'd rather just the game, see the game surprise me. Because I'd like to think that if the game was like extremely derivative of Breath of the Wild, like to an, ex an insane extent and only had a few additional things that it's my, my sincere hope that these reviewers would be like honest about it. 
The thing is, I also saw quite a few other reviewers that who I really do trust, you know, outside of like major outlets like IGN, who also said this game is amazingly good. So that does give me actually a lot of hope. Because the thing is, I love Breath of the Wild, but I also want this game to do more and also maybe try to alleviate some of the problems that were in Breath of the Wild. Because the, the game is not perfect. It really isn't. And I also, while I'm not as nearly as like, like an avid hater of the weapon breaking stuff in the base game, I also don't think it added a ton to the experience. And honestly, I also feel the, the combat, while enjoyable, it also, I felt, was still kind of simple overall and didn't really require much thought aside from like elemental sword or not, and all the combos for the, the main weapons being relatively the same, and also, you know, parrying, and that's kind of about it. I mean, we've already seen from the teasers and stuff like there's gonna be some crazy nuts and bolts bullshit in this game you know they're definitely building up on what they set up before with you know you being able to like you know chop down trees and then ride them all the way to uh hyrule castle so i'm sure there's gonna be some crazy shit in here like that but i just hope that there's like a good amount of depth to the combat in this game i think that would do a lot for me like the game gives me good reason to to do all the the fuckery that they've sort of shown off in the, the little teasers for it now, regardless of that, though, I already know, though, this is going to be a fun Let's Play because the Zelda Let's Plays are always fucking fun. And why is that, you might ask? Because we got the return of the best motherfucking Link ever. Seven Link is back from the dead and he's ready to beat your ass. Gotta love doing this voice. And I especially loved doing it in the last Zelda LP. Any excuse to bring him back is a fucking win in my book, baby. So anyway, all right. So we're here. We've got a new arm. We got a broken master sword. I can charge this up. Of course, all my stamina has to be gone too. That's a jump. Do I not have a roll in this? Man, fuck this sword. Can I actually? Nah. No chucking. No blade beam. Hey, there wasn't actually. Ah, well, that works. Ugh. Get a good smack. Ooh. Insert dick into portal. Well, if you say so. Oh, you want my hand? Oh, okay. I guess that makes a little more sense. What'd I do? Step into the circle. Maybe. Is this, uh, something? Want to do something? Hop in place? Maybe get a little spin? Woo! Oh, I can even go and pop further than that. Ugh. Oh, man, I'm all tired now. <laughs> I'm all out of breath. Okay, now I'm good. Can I still climb stuff? Can I still just climb like anything I want? Yep, I still can. Here we go. Woo! Ugh. Okay, that didn't work so well. Do I have my glider? I don't remember the buttons. Ugh. Wait, hold on. Let's try to, uh, I don't think I do. I think I might make myself a new glider. What we got going on over here? Press A to jump. That wasn't a jump, that was a dive. Now press X to jump. There we go. Easy piece of lemon squeezy. I will say, I do think uh, graphics wise, yeah, this game looks almost identical to the original Breath of the Wild, at least from a cursory glance. I mean, it, it could be that if you put them side by side, it might look a bit better, maybe, but I'll be curious to see if the frame rate, it, it manages to hold up or not, because I know there were definitely moments in Breath of the Wild original where the frame rate did tank a bit. I mean, it's still running at, you know, 30, but, uh, which isn't surprising. Come on. This is a Nintendo Switch, for God's sakes. All right, time to swan dive. Uh, ow. Oh, come on. Why are we getting, making this Why are we making this go further and further every time? All right. I'm going to totally do this. It's going to look beautiful. Ready? Here I go. Ah! <laughs> Landing wall from great, even great height will prevent me from taking fall damage for some reason. I don't know if that's how reality works, but okay, video game. Ugh. Ugh. Still pretty sure I heard a bone breaker when I hit that surface, but whatever. Oh, piece of candy. We got it. Let's go in and put my hand up in it. Archaic legwear. Well, what do you know? Just what I was looking for. Pants. 
Simple classic leg wear. They're well-worn and showing their age. They still got a good few years left in them. Be it cumbersome to ha have to tie the straps. Yeah, whatever. I'll just keep them on forever. Now, behold. My pants. Damn, I'm looking like I'm about to go fight Russell Crowe right now. <sighs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Am I about to get some freaking scenery porn? And also look at how all fucked up the world is. That seems like a very poor idea. Oh, well, YOLO. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Slip. It's all right. It's only gonna suck when I hit the bottom. Woo! Oh my God, is that music playing? Like real music and not boopity boop boops? Oh, fuck my dick! Now that's a title splash. All right, so, uh, oh. <laughs> pretty sure that should have killed me. But it's all right, we take those. Whew. Thanks, lily pad. I may not have died, but my nipples are chafed to shit from hitting that water. All right, now the real question is, is there a shuss over here? Please? The Great Sky Island. I think I remember killing that dragon before. Well, actually, no. I think he sucked. I think he sucked me up and then killed me. Or something. Holy shit! That <laughs> I'm suddenly reminded. This is definitely a Switch game. Those shadows, though, bro. We doing our best. Nice color palette. I do like the the lello. All right, still cut grass. Good. Haven't lost that ability. <gasps> oh shit! It's a damn it. Had to be quick. Oh wait, no, no, dang! Drag it. Come on. Oh hey, sky shroom. A common mushroom that grows near trees in Sky Island. Easy to restore health. Better than nothing. Oh shit! Is that what I think it is? Oh my god! Everybody remembers the first stick. Tree branch. A wooden branch such as this are pretty common, but surprisingly well balanced. It doesn't do much damage. You can serve as a weapon in a pinch. This is actually stronger than uh, equip or take out a weapon for your inventory. Well, hold left and... Aha! It actually is. It's actually somehow stronger than even a nubbin of this Master Soul. Wow, this thing sucks. I mean, I guess on the bright side, it essentially assures that you will not have nothing, right? With this, you'll at least, like, this will always seemingly exist. Unless this also eventually breaks. <laughs> Which maybe it does. I wouldn't put it behind it. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Oh, interesting. It doesn't cut, though, which makes sense. Oh, interesting. The, the combo is actually, actually is a little different. This is like a horizontal cut. And this is more like a strike down. That's actually good. Like, I'm, I'm glad that's the case. Because I do not remember that. I'm pretty sure th the last game all I had was, like... You had one heavy weapon, like or like a hammer or something, like a heavy sword and a one-handed sword. Oh no 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 no! It was a it was a uh, a one-handed weapon, a two-handed weapon, and like a spear. I think that I think it was it. I think it was the like all the weapon variety you had in the last game. Uh, I assume this game probably has like limited inventory space. I think I remember that being the case in the previous game. Yeah, it like unlocks spots. Oh, actually, yeah, I think it unlocks slots by uh, talking to that big tree guy. Oh shit, I see a dickhead. Now, can I still... There's like a way I think you could actually like crouch down, right? Uh, no, oh, not that. Oh, there's that. Left click. Oh, there it is. Well, ah, so much for this. Element of surprise. Get over here, bitch. 
Oh my god, this motherfucking piece of shit sword. You have to be kidding me. Well, that didn't last long. Never mind. I take back what I said. This shit will still fucking break. Even the master sword in its little nubbin form will still break. Yeah, fuck you. Give me another tree branch. Zonite charge. The material uses a power source for constructs and other devices. A strange light seems to reveal potent energy inside. Solar construct horn. A blade like horn from a soldier construct. It's very sharp, so handle with care. Ooh, is that a babble? Uh, common fruit eaten by people since ancient times. Eat it fresh or cook it to increase its effect. Oh, goody. Cook it. I hope, hope I can just find a durian and basically make the entire cooking process entirely pointless. Yet again. Oh, hey. Oh, a wooden stick. It's like the stick that I have right now, but more sticky. A tree branch with an added grip and excellent balance. Equip it and use it as a weapon. Don't mind if I do. I'm full unga bunga now, bitch. Uh, 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 uh. Can I like follow my death? Oh, yeah. I'm okay. Though so that that said, that actually made me think about it. I feel like I should also say, uh, just like the original Breath of the Wild, we are going to be keeping track of every one of our deaths with the death counter. Show me what it is, Sai. Yeah. Yep, just like that. So we were keeping track of all the deaths that I have this game. I can't remember how many I got in Breath of the Wild original. I think it was a good amount, though. There were definitely some spots and some enemies I remember really beating my ass. Like some of the whiz robes and shit. Of course, I think the game was pretty uh, lenient with uh, like checkpoints for the most part. I am curious though how uh, I'm gonna go about like increasing my stamina this time around. Will I get like get the will those be still be temples and stuff where I essentially uh, increase my either my HP or my stamina after acquiring I think four of them. To be honest, I kind of hope not. I mean, I think. That was fine from the, that last game, but I kind of just, I, I don't want it just because it's its just too much of the same, you know? Ooh, that looked hella gnarly over there. And also cold as fuck, man. I ain't wearing a shirt. I'm not equipped for that. You have any idea how hot my nipples going to get from that? What the hell is this? Time to sweep, sweep, sweep. Oh, okay. Well, that looks nice. Is it nice? Link, I have waited for you. Oh, shit, you are nice. Thought I was gonna have to kill you. Like a hair. Is that hair? Princess Zelda left something for you in my care. Cool, is another Master Sword? Cause I could really use another one of those. Oh, good, a Sheikah Slate. Great. This is the Pura Pat. Oh, fuck you. It's a fucking Sheikah Slate. Don't kid a kid up, Mr. Stewart, sir. I am told it is an invaluable tool that will provide you with direction. Cool, I guess I'll just uh, put it in my trousers. Oh, I've got an eyeball on it. Oh, man, this system is just never going to die, is it? The Pura Pad, Princess Zelda's prized device. It is a variety of features that are essential for adventure. Yeah? Like selfies. Use the features of the Pura Pad here. Okay. I received it from Princess Zelda. I have now passed it on to you. My records indicate that Princess Zelda is waiting at the location and marked on its map. My message has been delivered. The fuck am I? We stand in the Garden of Time. We sure like using of time for things, don't we? The Temple of Time is barely visible from here. Ah, oh, shit. What, that thing's back again? Damn, I wonder if my, one of my other iterations is hanging out down there. With another hilarious voice of some type. It was used in the distance past. Many rites and ceremonies of the kingdom were held there. But no more. Now it is a lonely place. No one visits. Yeah, probably because, you know, it was, like, buried in the ground or something. Find Princess Zelda. Yeah, what do you think I've been trying to do, game? All right, what we got here? Interesting. So, the Great Sky Island. Ah, 
So this is likely like how in the original Breath of the Wild, you you basically are kind of confined to this like was it actually floating as well? Now I think about it, it was like a big like cliff area. You no, know, it was just you know it was just a really tall cliff that you could not hop down without dying. Assuming I can't do that here either. Like we just saw, I, I leapt off there and it just teleported me back to the top. But yeah, this is likely a uh, tutorial area and maybe just where you get all your powers right from the start, like the the uh, first game was. Actually, wait. Okay, so he's, she's actually in here. Really? Should be right over there. That easy? No kidding. So uh, what we got here? Cool. Those two bridges are fucking. Good for you, bridge. Uh oh, what the hell's that? Uh, zone I charge. Okay. Can I like smack you? No, you have absolutely no physics. Oh, got a pot. Wait. Yes, I still break it. I pressed the wrong button though. Let's try again. So. Uh... Okay, keep pressing. No, it's. Uh. And then. I can't do it right. I keep pressing the same fucking button. Wait. No, I am pr I pressed a different button. How the hell did I throw you? Oh, it's ah. Uh. God damn it. I'm sorry. Ah uh, as in. Wait, what is this other one? Z ah. Uh. Fucking Nintendo controllers and the weird ass vernacular. Give me another pot. I won't try again. Ah, uh, damn it. <laughs> fucking. Uh. Anyway, I'll take that. Hello, you seem to be new here. That's my sword. Nope, it's mine now. And if you're gonna fight me for it, you're gonna die. Do you intend to use that as a weapon against these soldier constructs? Not really. What the hell's that? Soldier constructs are those of us given strict orders to protect this land. The Zonai who created us directed them to eliminate trespassers. They will consider you a trespasser. You must treat them as a serious threat. What about you? I'm just some dude with weird balls on his head. Oh, okay. Allow me to offer unsolicited advice. It is crucial to maintain a proper distance and target your opponents. Swinging haphazardly will not yield results. Make sure to press the ZL button. Okay, not the L, the ZL. Or L2, you know? Vernacular that makes a little more sense. You may practice targeting on me if you wish. Just don't kill me. Oh, but please do not actually attack. Shut your stupid bitch ass face. <laughs> uh, uh, die. <laughs> Fucking die, bitch. God damn it, why won't you die? Why won't you die, bitch? Holy shit. What the fuck are you made of, girl? Why would you do that? Tread carefully, you stupid bitch. Our creator gave them strict orders to protect this land. So the constructs, I just told you about it five seconds ago. God damn it. Why did I not have fucking attack functions? I want to strangle you. <laughs> you funny. I can tell we'll be fast friends. By the way. <laughs> da, 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 da. Damn it. She didn't fall for it. Ah, so uh, now what? Oh, goody. More diving from things. This always seems to go very well for me. Uh, Woo! Yeah, baby! I'm coming in hot! Ah! Ow. Tips and tricks. Try to aim for the water this time, dickhead. What the fuck was that? Were you even trying? What? What are you talking about? That was all just a dream in my crazy head. Oh, goody. I'm so glad to see we kept uh, that feature when we mocked the map with my horrible, stupid death. So I may never forget my horde failures. I'll right, try again. Woo! Okay, this way this time. Ah! Belly flop. Oh, hi, froggy. Hot footed frog, a quick frog that can be found hopping near the water. Cook it with monster parsu. Draw its speed boost effect. Wait, pick up, pick up what? Oh, oh, this rock. Yo, eat this shit, frog. Eh! Shit. Yeah, it's interesting. I'm looking at the bottom right. The UI is very similar to the Breath of the Wilds, too. So we still got the temperature thing, we got the, the sound thing as well, which is like used for like stealth. Though to be honest, I don't know if I remember stealth being all that useful. I mean, it, 
I mean, it could be a little bit, like, really high-leveled enemies, but usually when that happened, there was, like, so many guys around that I think generally, like, stealthing them was kind of, like, impossible. You get, like, maybe one or two enemies, but they'd have always eventually see you. Ooh, bat! Come here, bat! Damn him! I wanted that bird. Should wait. <gasps> I know what I need to do. I need to use the essence of stealth. Check this shit out. Motherfucker! I swear to God, I was worse than just running at him. Man, I miss my old stamina bar. When I used to be able to sprint for like three hours. And I even sweat a bit. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Ow! Fucker. It's like quite a bit of haze in this area. So that actually might be... Be honest, that could be uh, used to hide the draw distances. Uh, no, I don't know. I mean, it's still like... No, nah, I mean, I'm still seeing areas here. Like, I still seeing pretty far. What the hell? This fucking weird ostrich thing? Ooh, raw meat! Meat obtained for animals in plains and forests. You can eat it raw, but cooking will make it more delicious and nutritious and le give you less salmonella. Ah, right, let's try this shit again. Guys, looking around. I'm gonna be all sneaky like. You ain't gonna see me coming. You ain't gonna see me coming. Oh, come on, dude. For real? Wow, that's a. Might be actually kind of bad. Okay, how do I do my backflip? Where's my backflip? There it is. Eat that shit. Ah! Bitch! Draw something new. Oh, hey! A long wooden stick! Long stick, fast from a tree branch. A straight shape makes it work well as a lunging weapon. Ow, 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 ow. And throw a weapon in hand. Okay. Sure can. I can also uh eat. Oh, I whistle snail for my non existent horsey. Oh man, I missed my big giant horse. Remember that thing? That big ass giant horse look like Gandalf. You know the guy I'm about to fight here later? I sure don't. How do I consume you? Are you only doing the menu up here? Yeah, I guess so. Because the drop stuff is what you used to like, also like cook stuff. We get like a pot and drop it in there. Or actually, no, I think you, yeah, hold stuff like this. Oh, speaking of which, I see another dude. And I see something which to potentially cook something. Hey, look what I can do. Uh. What the fuck? You roasted that shit. Careful, that is already roasted. It will be burnt if left by the fire any longer. You roast them? Oh, I had not noticed before that you were unfamiliar to me. My apologies. Among my... I think it's on fire, by the way. Should I do something about that? It's fine. My, my task is to explain anything that visitors might require knowledge of. You may have questions about this place. Please rest assured that a construct can answer them. I recall that your question was about roasting food. I roast ingredients by placing them beside the fire. Do I do not eat, but I am given I am given to understand that it improves the taste. Our creator roasted ingredients in order to enhance their nutritional value. Do you have ingredients? I invite you to use the fire to roast them. Toasted sky shroom, damn! I didn't mean to do that! A simply grilled sky shroom. The heat brings out its flavor and increases the amount of health it can restore. Ah, right, what else we got? And drop his meat in there. Uh. Oh, yeah, that's how I like it. Yeah, baby, yeah. Light that shit on fire. That's what I'm talking about. Meat cooked over an open flame. Cooking has increased its flavor and a number of its hearts it provides. Ah, right, now this thing. Baked apple, baby. All right, what if I cook you now? It doesn't give a shit. All right, what if I let it just sit here for a bit? I'm gonna really cook that shit up. Oh, it just explodes. Okay. No charcoal or something. All right, Zelda. I'm coming, baby. I'm coming. I don't understand why the dash is like, it's B when I'm running around. And then I get in the water, it's not B. It's it's X. <laughs> Keeps throwing me off. Like, I get in the water, I'm hitting the different button to, to do that. Oh, shit. Now I'm drowning. Ah! That's right. Ran out of stamina. You will indeed drown. Oh, man, I have no stamina again. Just kind of blew. I'm not going to lie. All right, temple of time, we are back yet again. <laughs> nice shield, won't my fight fucking take it from you? Or how about your rusty broadsword? It's better than a stick. This one's fearsome sword seen better days. It can do damage in the right hands, but also breaks quickly. An age worn 
worn out wooden shield. It can withstand liar attacks such as arrows. Block when using a one-handed weapon. Yeah, there we go. Now we're talking. <laughs> so this uh, function is the same. Yes. That door will open only to those with sufficient power. Dimitri, what is it? I'm sorry. I did not intend to startle you. It was I that spoke to you earlier. That arm originally belonged to me. Oh no, he's hot! K kinda. Raru, source of the right arm. That was Gandor said earlier. Th that name. Forgive me for appearing to you in this manner. Unfortunately, I no longer have a physical form. In any case, that arm should allow you to open this door. It seems to have lost the power to do so. You might be able to restore it, but you would need to enter a place filled with sacred light. Ah, of course. Why not visit the shrines on this island? The shrines. Yes, I am sure they are the key. Okay, thanks. Bye. The closed door. Uh, adventures will be detailed here. We tried to open the door of the temple time. Rara appeared and said he was the original owner, owner of your new arm. He also said you need to revitalize the arm so the power as touched will open the door. To do that, this is the island shrines. A green light spiral above each of them. All right, this sounds, again, very similar to how the first game started, where you ran to, like, four or five different shrines, essentially getting powers for your Sheikah Slate. Oh, interesting. The pictures in here that uh, Zelda took are, are still here. Okay, there's one over there. There's one over there. And those are the only ones I presently see. All right, let's try this shit again. I'm gonna get a self gas, swear to God. Fucking die, dickhead. Ah! Ooh, a bow. Wooden bow from the olden days. Built for hunting, but it's not very powerful. We take those. Equip a bow to attack enemies from afar. ZR to uh, press and hold to aim. ZR to release. Uh, but all five common arrows. Shafts these were carved from the wood of a sturdy tree. Okay. Okay, you can still pick up the arrows after you shoot them, which is good. The fuck was that sound? Got some shit over here. Ugh. If the head forms a critical, it deals two two times damage. Nice. Ooh, I see a thingy. Rush room. Oh yeah, I remember this. Uh, can grow almost everywhere. But first ceiling, uh, ceilings is your cliffs. Cook it for it for eating to temporarily increase your movement speed. Yeah, I thought I actually do had to do with stamina. Oh. I hear something. Whoa, that is some hella orange sun there. This guy is pretty looking though. Is that the temple thing about me making that sound? Uko Shrine. Oh, seems like the shrine things are back again. Just in sort of a new form. But similar function. For a second, that was actually, I was like, is he going to seamlessly let me go in there? Nope. Here's the loading screen. Ah. So you've made it here. This is the Shrine of Light. 
Long ago, I filled these places with light that purges evil. I believe this light will restore an ability your right arm has lost. Mm -hmm. Now then, extend your hand. <laughs> oh shit, it's playing the sound. I'm getting it right at the start. I haven't even done anything yet. You have the ability of hand. Ultra hand. Uh, grab and move objects. Rotate them and stick them to other objects. Hmm. This is the ultra hand ability. It allows you to move objects freely and attach them to other objects. With it, you will be able to build a great number of things. Really, anything you can imagine. Mm. Like Minecraft? More like nuts and bolts. Aw, I like Minecraft better. Use Ultra Hand and receive the blessing from this shrine. Well, I could just, you know, leave because I have the Ultra Hand ability now. Which is all I really wanted. Uh, activate the ability uh, with L. All right, yep. So my arm is basically the Sheikah Slate. I guess the Sheikah Slate or Puro Slate or whatever the fuck is just... A uh, map <laughs> and an adventure log, and that's about it. Okay, so grab a platform. Okay, I think functionally we had to move uh, like this. It was actually no, it was it was the magnet. We used it to grab, but only metal objects. Now, assuming I can grab anything, I'm a fucking genius, man. Okay, grab you, and I'm gonna just throw you down there for some reason. And then I'm gonna take you, and I'm gonna push you over fucking here. Here, that's a whoa. Did that kind of work? So, ah! Unstick. Uh, 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 oh, I gotta shake it off. Uh. That actually worked. Oh, God! Side heavy. Can I attach the walls? No, I cannot. Take this and attach to like the other end. Just so just to make it long. Yeah. Now take it. Yeah, there we go. That's using the old noodle. Oh shit, I see you, chest. I know how to get you. Like that, bitch. Amber! Fossilized resin with a caramelous sheen to it. It's been valued as a component of decorations of graphic sensation times. Yep, I remember that from the last game. Came across a lot of those. Okay, we got... Ooh, more things. Ah, I think I understand. I got this. Oh, this is a hook to it. Yeah, okay. Like that, kind of. Okay, maybe more like, uh, like this. All right, and then we're gonna just pick you up. Gonna hook you onto this little thing. Like so. Ta-da! Damn, I'm a fucking genius, bro. Oh shit, oh shit, get on it, get on it. Okay, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Is it the little uh, light ball things, essentially? I'm thinking it might be. A crystal that glows with a light that purges ancient evil and purifies with this radiance. Yep, it is seemingly the exact same thing that we had before. So, I'm guessing collect four of these, choose whether to upgrade your health or your stamina. The Light of Blessing grants you the strength you seek. 
Thank you. I will do my best. Ooh, it's getting laid out. You did very well getting through that shrine. Thank you. And you restored an ability. This is wonderful. Yeah, only like 300 more to go. If you visit and complete two more shrines, you should be able to open the door to the Temple of Time. Dope. You may want to mark the shrines in the distance with pins. Then you'll never lose track of where they are. The Pura Pad offers you a very useful scope. It's quite handy. If you say so. Uh, R3, uh, A to pl uh, place a pin. Ah, yes. So, right... There. And then... This thing? Oh, no. It's over here. There we are. Oh, we got ourselves a... Gaping cliff here. And a bunch of conveniently placed wooden boards. I think I see what I need to do. Ah, fuck. Well, I could run. Ow. Ah, shit, I leave my wooden boards? I think I might have. That man fucked. Now, nah, there we go. Ooh, a restless cricket. Very ancient cricket. Cr cricket. Cook it to the monster rest to create a stamina recovery. It looks like that's the one that recovers stamina. Oh. Hey, a ghost. I see that they're still at work even now. We originally created the constructs to insist in our endeavors. All of us were fond of them. I never imagined that we continued to carry out their assigned tasks to this day. Hmm. The fact that their labor no longer serves any purpose, yet they perform it still. Just disquieting to me. I don't know, maybe they like it. <gasps> oh shit, some wood! Make a campfire if you have something to light it. Yes, I remember the... I remember the last game, don't worry, at least that part. Oh shit, I'm getting the power of Amiibo too. Oh, we got a box and uh, Oh! And we got some dudes over here. Fix your gaze forward, face it head on. Hmm, pardon me, I was absorbed in my wood cutting. Are you here for wood cutting too? Wood cut? What the fuck is that? Are you shitting me? It's when you cut. Wood. Oh, that makes a lot of sense now. Woodcutting is the practice of chopping down trees to create logs. Logs can be cut by two assembled platforms. You can also chop them down further to make wood. Lumber has many uses. That is why I come here daily to chop wood. And yet I still find it difficult to chop them down in the intended direction. That's why you have heard me muttering to myself. Fix your gaze forward, face it head on. Ah, uh, I apologize. I may have been rambling for some time. There is an axe I no longer need over there. It's yours if you wish to do some wood cutting. My eyes grow so late, I must fail to notice the time bell. I will rest for today. Bye. Thank you, damn it. Don't need this stupid stick anymore. Ah. Why is it all glowing and stuff? No idea. Whatever. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, damn, I feel like I chopped that tree down way faster than the OG game. Well, that, well no, it's because it, it's because I'm, it's like a... It's not like a huge fucking axe, which is what the the wooden the uh, woodcutter's axe was in the last game. Ooh wee! Okay, I was gonna see some chugging that time there. Yeah, this game's definitely gonna have some still have some performance issues. Not surprisingly, your behavior is a, no, it is it is it. I'm just carrying some wood. Calm down, bro. Well, that's interesting. I can I. It's a thing over there. Can I carry that whole that whole thing? Uh, is that long enough? That is not long enough. Oh, can't reach from here. Don't have unlimited range on this uh, grab. No! 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 Come back! Come back! Come back! No! 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 Ah, oh, you motherfucker! What the hell? Why did he drop it? What the hell? Why did, why did he drop it? I didn't actually hit the drop button. He's just like, nah. He just fucking just let it go. Suddenly. Well, shit. 
that kind of fucks me, doesn't it? Wait, what the hell? Was this here before? I didn't notice it. Oh, that's cool. We got a little hooky thing over here as well. Well, though, going in the opposite direction of where I want. Ooh, an acorn. I fell on the ground near a tree. Squirrels the door this nut, so you may have to competition while foraging. Add one to a meal for a nutty seasoning. Oh. Korok Frond. Mysteriously, it looks like it might be hiding something behind it. It has a medicinal value. Attached to a stick and it can be used as a fan. Or can I not use it on its own as a fan? I think I could in the original. I thought I could. You know, there's definitely some serious frame drops. Oh my god. Not surprising. This ancient this hardware is ancient as fuck. Alright, is that enough trees? Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Yeah. Just enough. Huh. Not one of these. Just like put in place and it stays there? Oh, sure looks that way. That was easy. Amber! Shh, quiet, I'm engaged in hunting. <laughs> hunting?! Like, I keep asking these questions like I don't know what these words mean. Yes, I will hunt wild creatures that inhabit the forest. Hmm, I do not remember seeing you here before. We construct fulfill several roles. One is to provide any necessary explanations to newcomers such as yourselves. So your tutorial bots, pretty much. Other constructs you meet will be able to answer your questions you may have about other subjects. My specialty is hunting. To hunt is to dispatch wild creatures. Many of them dwell within this forest. They are highly nutritious to organic life. They're also extremely wary. Hunter must not make noise. Crouching is essential for silence. The crouch. A bow can be used to strike from afar. Aim for weak spots is best. I will give you the bow I placed over there. Use it as you please. Man, fuck that. We're all stealthy and shit. What the fuck? Oh, God, what the fuck? You didn't see me. I was sneaking, you dickhead. You dumb bird. Ah. Ah. Or am I still jumping? Get the slow mo. Uh. I don't think so. I remember before, if you it was like you always would automatically get slow mo if you jumped in the air. All right, guys, I think this is probably a good spot to end things here for now. Uh, it's fun so far. It's uh, definitely Breath of the Wild, but again, I gotta wait till I start getting some more abilities before I see how uh, different and uh, crazy this game can get. But I will say, I did really like the start. I actually thought the, the start to this was uh, really good. I'll be curious to see if this game has more story than the original Breath of the Wild. My thought process is probably not, but I kinda hope it does, you know? Either way, I'm definitely looking forward to uh, ad-libbing some more crazy adventures with uh, Seven Link here. And also making myself my own crazy, wacky, waving on flailing tube man using some, some bubble gum and string. It's going to be awesome. But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode and are excited for this series. If you are, please do leave it a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. And subscribe if you're not ready to become a picky penguin. Aboard the SLP. Where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. I gotta say, it feels good to be back, guys. It feels good to be back. Can't wait to see what kind of crazy snack is and adventures we get into this time. But anyway, guys, as always, till next time, stay classy.